Authorities say a fighter jet smashing into a small plane, pieces of the jet and the plane raining down on a neighborhood, a piece of one of the engines right there. Eyewitnesses describing a ball of fire in the sky. It happened 10 miles outside Charleston, and at this hour, the NTSB, the Air Force, both investigating divers in the water. The fighter pilot ejecting safely, but late today, we learned the passengers in the small plane did not survive. Steve Osinsami is on the scene tonight. Tonight in the near 100 degree heat. Also divers aided at this time. First responders are searching backyards, woods, and a river for what's left of the two aircraft that somehow crashed above neighborhoods in South Carolina. The debris field miles wide, littered with tires and engine parts. We're getting reports of two planes down at this time. Small plane versus a military style jet. Small plane in the water at this time. Beverly Brunswick says she was working outside. We were sitting there and heard this boom coming from this side. Authorities say the first call for help came at 11.03 a.m. The two planes were an F-16 traveling from Shaw Air Force Base northwest of Charleston and a Cessna 150 that authorities tell us is often used as a popular training plane for private pilots. The military says the pilot of their aircraft ejected safely, but state officials say that two people flying the Cessna were killed. The information that we have now, they are local. Experts say the Cessna should have shown up on the fighter jet's radar and that air traffic controllers should have warned the Cessna about the F-16. Witnesses tell police the Cessna was flying and pulled up suddenly when the F-16 tore right through it, crashing five miles away. They're both at very low altitude, very high rates of closure, and sometimes they don't see each other. Tonight, divers are searching the river on the other side of this rice field. Despite the falling debris, no one was injured on the ground. David.